What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. I have some of my newest silver acquisitions to show you. I actually found some pretty awesome deals at an antique shop. I also picked up a couple things from my local coin shop as well. So let's check out all the new silver I got. Stay tuned. Okay, so here is everything I picked up from my local coin shop and the antique store. Uh, as for the local coin shop, they really didn't have a lot in stock when it came to silver or gold. So the only thing I got was two American Silver Eagles. And I'm not really stacking Eagles right now because the premiums are pretty outrageous. But I did pick these up because they had these in the generic silver bit. So I figured, you know, for less premium, I would pick these Eagles up. But the fact that they were in the generic silver bin was because of these colorization. So unfortunately, somebody put this Philadelphia Eagles guy on the American Silver Eagle. We got an Eagle on an Eagle. Kind of funny. There was actually two of them. They're both 2018. And if you saw my last video, we did a little science experiment and I actually removed the colorization with some acetone. So it looked like this originally and now it looks like this. Uh, it was a little abrasive. I got some uh, some scratches on there. It wasn't the easiest of tasks, but I was able to get that colorization off. So I did one of them. I didn't do this one yet. They both have this same kind of logo on there. And I'm just going to leave this one for now. I might pull the colorization off. Unless somebody really likes this, let me know. If you're a huge Eagles fan and you want a Philadelphia Eagle American Silver Eagle from 2018, shoot me an email. So that's the only uh, silver I bought from my local coin shop because it was in the generic silver bin and it was less than what they're selling Eagles for. That's the only reason I purchased those. Uh, and got the Indian Head Pennies as well from my local coin shop. These are all damaged coal or just in bad shape uh, Indian Head cents. I just got a handful of them because they were very inexpensive. Uh, so I went through all the dates. Nothing really good. These ones over here are really rough shape. Most of them were 1909, 1908, 1905. Mostly uh, the 1900s. There was an 1884, which nothing special. But this 1863 is a fatty Indian copper nickel. But as you see, it's in horrible shape. So really not really worth anything. Uh, but it was a better date. I thought I needed it for my collection. But I already have a better 19, uh, 1863. So that's all I got from my local coin shop. So I decided since I didn't get much over there, I was going to go and search some antique shops. And I went to this one antique shop and he had a whole bunch of coins. Um, and silver bullion. So I was excited about that, and his prices were very good. So I kind of went against what I'm doing. I'm not buying a lot of silver bullion or even American constitutional silver lately because the premiums are just crazy. You know, spot price is around $22 right now. Uh, it's December of 2021, and the premiums are just 5 10 you know, dollars over spot for an ounce of silver. That's, that's too much. I, I can't do that. But I did find good deals on some bullion. So I pulled the trigger and I purchased it as well as some 90% constitutional junk silver. So that rant is over. Let me show you what I got. He had his silver bullion, these one ounce rounds and coins, uh, for a great price. I don't even want to tell you what I paid. Um, but he had two of these 2016 American Silver Eagles. Eh, they got a little bit of milkiness to them. But for close to spot price, I'm not going to complain. It was only a couple dollars over spot, so that was really cool. So I got two American Silver Eagles. Wish he had more of those because I could have resold those for, you know, made a couple bucks. Um... But I did get the rest of the bullion he had. He had four of these 20, uh, 2017 Britannias, which also kind of milky. Nothing crazy. I mean, this is more just like generic silver um, due to its condition. So I have four of the 2017 Britannias, one ounce, three nines fine. Very excited about that. I like the Britannias. So, 
they also had three of these, and I don't have any of these in my in my stack. I thought it was interesting. Um, the design's okay. Some people really like these. Um, these are the Noah's Ark coins. So they've been coming out with these for a handful of years now. It's kind of cool. You have the Noah's Ark and the Dove. Kind of interesting. And these, these are a little milky as well. And this is, where's the date on there? Oh, it's real small. Let's see if we can zoom in. That's hard to read. I believe that says 2014 or 2015. There we go. I think. It's kind of hard to read. But I believe that's a 2015. And these are from the Republic of Armenia. So, pretty interesting. One ounce, three nines fine. The Noah's Ark coin. Pretty cool. And he had three of those, so I just picked those up. I actually bought all of the bullion he had out on display. So I got four, seven, eight, nine ounces of one ounce bullion just because I couldn't pass up the deal. He also had just two Benji half dollars and one Washington silver quarter. And he was asking pretty good deal on this as well. That's a 64 Washington quarter. We have a 1961 Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Looks like that's out of Philly. And they're not in the best shape, but not a bad deal at all. Here's a 1961 out of Philly. It's got a little bit of uh, red stuff in there. Not sure what that is, but I did purchase all this because he was having you know a pretty good deal at that antique shop. He said he gets silver in all the time, so I'm definitely going to go back. Um, they also had a little royal uh, British royal mint uh, tube for the Britannias, and I asked him since I bought everything if I could have the tube because it was just sitting there, and then he wanted to charge me two bucks for the tube, so I didn't say nothing, whatever. I paid it two bucks for the tube. But he gave me a great deal. That was awesome. I got some of these American Eagles from my LCS for a great deal as well, and some Cole Indian Head pennies. Nothing really too crazy here, but I was excited about getting some bullion at low premium. So I'm really, right now, I'm only stacking low premium silver, if that. Um, I'm going to focus more on gold come the new year of 2022. Uh, I'm always coin collecting, you know, I'm working on different folders, so I'll be picking up buffalo heads and Indian heads and, you know, wheat scents and things like that here and there. Uh, but when it comes to stacking, I'm, I'm trying to unload a lot of my high premium coins and silver. And, you know, I just, I think it's awesome. I love it. But I just want to get rid of some of the more high premium stuff I have and get more low premium stuff so my dollar cost average will drop. Because I started off really good when, and when silver was around $16, $18 an ounce. And I've been stacking since then. And now even spots, it's only $22, but we're paying almost $30 or more for an ounce of silver, which you know, really hurts the dollar cost average. So I'm sticking with deals and low premium silver and sticking with low premium and deals on gold as well. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, precious metals, coin collecting, treasure hunting, and all that fun stuff. And ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.